800 CHAB is proud to present Ask the Expert. Here's Rob Carney. It is that time of the year. Spring has sprung, the grass is raised, and you're wondering where your barbecue is. Greg Marcinek at Heritage Insurance uh, has some reminders, some friendly reminders, sir, on uh, safety tips for your barbecue. Uh, they can be dangerous appliances. They can be very dangerous, Rob. That's correct. And it's always a good idea to get your barbecue out. And uh, first of all, just go through and uh, clean out any dirt and debris that's uh, built up inside the grill over the winter months. You should make sure that you clean your burner ports out and ensure that they're free of dirt and rust. Uh, Also make sure that the barbecue hose is in good condition and and free of cracks. Make sure there's no sharp bends on them in the hose or tubing. And uh, propane or natural gas, if it does leak, it can actually shoot up a huge flame. In fact, I've witnessed one and it's it's not a fun thing to be around. They recommend mixing 50% water, 50% soap. Just get a brush, like a small paint brush. Go over all of your connections. Make sure that there are no leaks. If they are, make sure that you repair them. And the biggest thing is if you don't feel comfortable with doing the checking of the actual leaks or if you do find one and you're not real comfortable, just hire a certified fuel appliance repair person and they can take care of that. The, uh, the mixture of the, the water and the soap, if you, if you paint that over top of a hose, uh, bubbles will come up if there's a leak, right? That's correct, Rob. And then you know that that area needs to either be tightened up or else if there's any O-rings there that on the older barbecues, just replace them. So again, just make sure you do that. Uh, now, when you're lighting your barbecue, uh, there's just five basic steps. Uh, first of all, make sure that, again, the barbecue is all ready. There are no leaks. And open the lid. Uh, Don't open up the valve, open the lid. Uh, Next, turn on the valve either for your natural gas or for the propane. And finally, light the barbecue if you've got one of those igniters. Uh, I know mine sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. (laughs) Yours works? (laughs) (laughs) If you don't have one of those igniters or if they don't work, there's usually a side hole. I recommend using the uh, long barbecue lighter ones that are intended for that. You know, don't throw a match in, poof, you know, anything can happen. Now, when you're shutting off the barbecue, I'm surprised how many people just go ahead and turn the valves off at the barbecue. The best thing that professionals recommend is while it's running, turn the valve off either on the natural gas valve or on your cylinder valve. The reason being is that way it'll burn all that gas. Uh, The other thing is when you're charcoal grilling, uh, make sure that uh, you're in a well-ventilated area for both the charcoal grilling and that. And also do not use gasoline to start charcoal, Uh, just a recipe for disaster. Make sure that you use proper charcoal lighting fluid. And when you do light it, stand back from the grill. Make sure that you don't have any of the lighter fluid spilled on you when you are lighting. Make sure that that can is far enough away when you do light it. The other thing, if the briquettes do die out, don't sit there and squirt the briquettes, which I have seen happen, and I have seen instances where there has been a big fire and uh, fortunately nobody got hurt but not a pretty sight and when you're done grilling with charcoal make sure that they're out don't just dump them into the garbage because again they will carry their heat i usually leave mine out overnight and make sure they burn out nothing like a charcoal barbecue but again they're just a little more dangerous Uh, keep the barbecues at least three meters away from windows or doors and keep the barbecue away from wooden fences any combustible overhead uh, roof and Uh, Never fight a grease fire with water. Uh, Again, uh, this will only cause the flame to flare up. Close the lid and let it die out. Turn everything off. Let it die out on its own. So, again, just be safe out there. Uh, We want people to enjoy the food, enjoy the beautiful weather we have here coming now. That's it. You're an insurance expert. You're also a grilling expert. Yes, I enjoy cooking. That's my passion, <laughs> and it tells. <laughs> For these tips and uh, and more and all your insurance needs, there's one website you can go to to get it all. NoHassleInsurance.ca, or come on down and visit us at the corner of First and Fairford West, uh, the r- building with the roof on the truck. <laughs> <laughs> or the, the red truck on the roof. <laughs> Building with the red truck on the roof. Thanks, Rob. Greg Marcinek at Heritage Insurance on 800 CHABs. Ask the Expert. This has been Ask the Expert on 800 CHAB.